So in this video, we're gonna be learning how to create our own simple private messaging system. So let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is create a new table to store the messages. We're gonna call this table messages. And we need an ID field to uniquely identify each message. We also need a sender, a receiver, and the message body. So the first thing we're gonna say is message body. The body is gonna be of type text. We're not gonna let that be null because if it's null, we don't wanna send the message. Sender. It's going to be next, it's going to be an int and it's going to be the ID of the person who sent the message and receiver is also going to be an int and it's going to be the ID of the person who received the message. And we're not going to allow either of these to be null and they're, and they're both going to be unsigned. We're also going to add another field called read and it's going to be a boolean and that's just going to tell us if the user has read the message or not and we don't want that to be null and we want that to be unsigned. So now that we've created our table, we need to create a new page to let us send messages. So we're going to create a new page. So our new page is called sendmessage.php and what we want to do is first create a form. Now we want to create our form. And now that we've created our form, we want to add our text area and we want to add a button to actually send the message. And we've already done this here, so we'll just copy our text area and our button from our profile page. We'll remove the file type and we'll remove that other text. And we're going to refresh the page. So here's our send message form and we need to give it a parameter of receiver. And that's going to be equal to the ID of whoever is going to receive the message. And in this case, we're going to set it to three so that HowCode can receive the message. Next, we're going to check if the user's logged in. And we've already done that on the index page. So we'll just copy and paste that. So we're going to delete post and comment because we don't need them. We only need the login class and the DB class. We don't need show timeline. We don't need show timeline down here. So now we have our user ID of the user who's logged in. We also know that the user's logged in we can display this form. Uh, otherwise, we'll change this to die not logged in, just to kill the page. And now what we want to do is send the message. You can see here that the form submits to receiver and, and then it echoes out whatever's in the address bar. And this could obviously cause cross-site scripting. So we're just going to echo HTML special chars around that and that should prevent that. So now what we want to do is we want to check if the button has been submitted. So we want to check if send message has been clicked. like this, if the send button has been clicked, then we're going to send the message. So to do that, we're gonna do a DB query, and we're gonna say insert into messages, the values. First one is gonna be ID, of course, which is gonna be nothing. The next one is gonna be the message itself, which is gonna be the body. The next one's gonna be the sender, and the next one's gonna be the receiver. Then we wanna add our array at the end. The body is gonna be post body. The sender is going to be the user ID and the receiver is what we're going to get from the address bar. And we could put in HTML special chars here just to make sure that we're not getting anything that isn't a number. But either way, if we get something that isn't a number, it should give us an error anyway. And then here we'll just echo message sent. And after receiver, we also want to add red, which is going to be a zero that says by default, the message is unread. So we'll run that and see what happens. So I want to send a message to HowCode, which, which is the user with the ID of three. So I'm going to click send message. It says message sent. And we go to content and there's our message sent. We have, a we have a sender of one, a receiver of three, and it's unread. We're not quite finished because at the minute we've no way to verify that the receiver is actually a legitimate number. There's nothing to stop someone putting in a number of a user's ID who doesn't exist. So what we want to do before we send the message is we want to run another query and say if db query I will select ID from users where the ID is equal to receiver and then we'll pass the receiver variable just like that so here we're just checking if the query is successful then we'll send the message otherwise we won't so now if I go in here and I refresh we should work this should work if I send another message if I click send message it works if I put in an ID that doesn't exist like 20 for example and I click send message we get nothing output, but we refresh and we get nothing in the database. In fact, if the ID is not valid, we could just die in valid ID and then refresh. And you can see it says invalid ID now. So that's it for sending messages. Some people had asked for real time messaging and that's something I'm going to give some thought to. And I might make a video on it soon. But for now, this is a simple messaging application that just sends a message and stores it in a database. And then we're going to receive the message and retrieve it from the database in the next part. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. And I'll see you next time.